Hello, this is Charlie Cox TME here with a first update of the new layout Hillyford Junction. I've been, me and my friends have been working on this layout now for about a month or so. I think it was just after, near the end of October we started work on it. But we started over at this end with this baseboard here and then just continued on. Recently, we've been up here doing a lot more work, including me building the Pico turntable kit, which was an absolute pain to build. I had to cut out this hole in the board. Shut up, dog! So when now it needs to fit in, to do it and. Minor issues. I've had fly Scotsman on it, the Albert Hall, which is not its nameplate, Prairie, and these locos, and Tornado. So, I think the main start of this now update would be station. This this the second plan we really we done for a station that we're gonna stick with is we've got platform here where the scribbly line is and the two solid lines. Ignore that. That's so this is where it was gonna end. The second line up there is where it was gonna end. But we brought it in so we could have what we needed up here. We're also going to have four straight through lines here, 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 and here. The platform, same length over here. A bay platform in this sort of area. A bay platform here. A bay platform up here. And a bay platform and the term, uh, second terminus for the Heritage Railway. If we go on to this part of this station area, we're going to have some sidings, probably going to come to about here in this sort of area. It's going to be in this sort of area we're going to have some sidings. Up this end of the layout, we've got, we're going to be having the line's coming to two and go around over the bridge that we've not built yet. On this board and a bit of this one around this sort of area, we're going to be having a diesel depot TMD. Looking forward to that. About four roads we hope to have in here. If we go up all the way to the other end, so we're having going to have a lot of points here because we've got to have. That I think what we're going to be doing will be obviously having two, the four lines going to two, bay connecting on, and then probably what we're going to do is have a point here to connect onto the main line, a point up here. So we can have a main line charter, for example, to come from main line to branch line. That will then come around the corner here onto this bit built today. This bit took about 40, 50 minutes to build. It will come across here in this area and come around this one. It took about 10 minutes to build as we'd already done one, so we knew how to do this one. So that will come around here. Then this sort of area where Tornado is, we're going to have a little halt, which will look really nice. Then it will come up the halt down to a main second terminus for the line, where we will also have to have a line to come on round to go to the turntable. Main line wise, the main line is going to be coming round the back, going round the back. 
where the cork is. That is trap grass. That will come along the back, go on round and connect over there. Over here, we have a quarry. It's going to look good, hopefully. We're going to have a point coming off from the main line down this sort of area, down into it, round here. That will be started, don't know when. So hopefully, with the layout, we will start work on it, hopefully next week, hopefully. Go buy brown paint so we can have a nice base under layer, so now it'll be nice, so it'll be brown for the mud and soil and that. Then we'll have the cork on top, and then the track obviously. The loco we've had up, not loco, the piece of track we've had out is this uh, Pico semi flexible Dreamline Code 100 track. Um, this piece here and all the wooden sleeper ones will use for the branch line. Um, we've got concrete sleepers. One for the main line. That piece will probably go there in the end when it's all straight and all that. And here we have good now come. We have got otherwise known as an absolute ton of points. So we have one small radius left hand point streamline into frog. We've got one medium radius three way turn out. One small radius right hand second small radius left hand, a third small radius left hand, one medium radius left hand, a second medium radius left hand, second right hand small radius, one medium radius right hand, a third small radius right hand, and a second medium radius right hand. So these are all the points we've got. For now, we're going to be going back down to Pico to get more points. Um, hopefully soon. Mm. Then now we've got a lot more stuff. Nothing happened. Over here, got two power packs for two existing Gage Master combi controllers we've already got. And that, that voice. In the back here, we've got our new controller for the layout. Gage Master Fuel D controller. So this will be what we use for the main two running lines. No. Can't do this one. Can do it? Um about that. Do that. Round, round, round. Shove it back in the back corner. This is my driver's trolley I'm building. Not going to do any more on that for a while. Got a bunch of buffer stops. Got the 
some Huron cork um, trap cutters we'll be using. Really, apart from that, I think that is all. Got got these for the um signal box or oh, to put along the branch line. My local station is Focal. Taunton, but where I'm currently living is Norton. So we've got Norton West ground frame. We've got more stuff there. In this box, we've got concrete and wooden. And here it's just all concrete. We've got obviously cork. A straight track setter. We shove in like that. We've got a 21 inch radius. Um, That's a 21 inch radius, and we've also got a 30 inch radius. I've got three different radiuses a curve, which is good. Let's try this one in the other direction. So then we've got a nice little, yeah. That's the track setters we've got. Might as well leave the straight one in. Stick that one out as quickly. Send it along the left. I'll do a second time. Then we've got almost straight piece of track, which I'm going to put just there for now. So that's really it now for the update. So hopefully be back soon with another update on the layout. And uh really thanks for watching.